held, kick, private equity held, rumble, publicly traded. Somehow the ADL is keeping you off of all these platforms. Don't you think it might just be the case that people don't want you because you're radical? The ADL came out there at the front like they always are. Anytime anyone says something remotely critical of Jews in Israel, and they wrote a letter to Adidas and said, you better disavow and the threat was this if you don't we're going to run a media campaign and say that adidas supports nazis don't buy their shoes they've done this before they did the same thing to facebook in 2020 did you when, see the letter by by chance did you actually see the, what they said yeah Kanye? Yeah. Oh, wow. Did and you see the one by J.P. Morgan? It was public. The letter was public. Because the, the J.P. Morgan whoa, letter was whoa, before. Whoa, hey, let me finish. He's explaining, he's explaining oh, his okay. stance. Go ahead. So, and then the J.P. Morgan. So the point is this. It's not that this censorship stuff just happens. Like, for example, people ask me all the time. There was just a girl over here on Friday. I said, oh, I'm banned from Twitter. She said, oh, but, you know, they're reinstating people. You know, like, I don't know that. I know. And I told her, I said, yeah, I got reinstated for a day. Then I got immediately re-banned. I was one of five people on a list by the ADL that they said cannot come back to Twitter. And out of that five, I'm one out of two that is, or one out of three actually, but one out of two that did not, was not allowed to come back that talks about Jews. Andrew Tate got to come back. Doesn't talk about Wait, you Jews. You did get to come Donald back. Trump, and then got immediately re-banned, and Why'd you all get re my appeals got shut down. Why'd you get re-banned? They because didn't he tell called, me. He, because he they called never himself, told me. He called what himself, did you tweet before you got banned? He was I on tweeted space a video said, saying DEFCON 2. And he was in a space, yeah, and he yeah. insinuated so he was baby Hitler. So, yeah, you got, you got banned because you did negative. the same thing you banned initially. You got uh, re-banned nope. again. Yeah. I got banned for both the first time. They didn't even tell me uh -huh. what I tweeted because I don't break the rules on Twitter. The ADL wait, wait, said, why would Twitter hang on, hang on, I'm still it. not finished. Yeah, These interruptions get tolerated. All the Unbelievable. Yeah, answer, answer his questions about why you got banned in, in this thing. So the point is, the point is, yeah. To, to say that this is just happening because, well, it's unpopular with the American people. First of all, Jews aren't super popular with the American people. I think most people have a little bit of anti-Semitism or a little bit sus of Jewish people. That's first of all. That's what we're always reminded. At the, you want to argue at the same time that there's More record rambling. high anti-Semitism. Yeah. Also, it's a popular mandate, which is why any talk about Jews gets censored. So it's not some spontaneous coming together based on popular support. It's groups like the ADL, which has a $500 million war chest that goes out there and uses the bully pulpit in the media to smear anybody as an anti-Semite, blow them up in the stock market, use their connections. That's what's been going on forever. So, and you're on your phone. I know you're Googling. I'm the writing answers. down notes. I didn't, Google, get a, I didn't get a notebook for you, so I'm going to write it down right, in a little right, chat right, box. Right, right, right. Sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, see, I would like to be clear. Line, yeah. I want to reiterate it's again. Amazing. He will never answer a question I give him. He has no, 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 I don't think he's answered a single fucking question. That's just ridiculous. you just explain to him why you got banned off Twitter, by the way? I know why you got banned. I don't know why you're lying about it. Well, you don't know because... You were in Twitter spaces. You were in Twitter spaces. Hang on, hang on. Did you see the email I got from Twitter, which is why I was banned? Yeah, I'm friends with Elon. He showed me. Okay, so okay. now you're just being cute. You didn't see it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay. you don't believe I'm friends with Elon? I was on Lex Friedman's show. Oh, wait, so what did the email say, Nick? What did the email right. say, Nick? Let, let, let it him said ban for, let him it said ban for violations of the terms of service. That's all it said? Are you That's sure? That's all it said, yeah. Oh, well, 100%. do you think that going into Twitter space and saying shit like, Hitler is based, I love Hitler, do you think that might be a violation of the terms? No, because what I said wasn't a violation of the terms of service. Oh, okay. So just to be clear, it wasn't because you tweeted DEFCON 2. You didn't say that you hid that because you didn't know that I knew that you were in that Twitter space, even though we listened you to said stream. it's because of what you so, tweeted. And I said, this is why I tweeted. My turn to ramble. First of all, you just ramble said a million you things. Don't I get to ramble? All right. All right. You said that's a big People at home, people at home can see this guy's fucking melting. That big it's amazing. Tech is censoring JQ stuff. Okay. Elon Musk, Twitter's private now. Where's the pressure from the Jews? They killed all his advertisers. They sponsored an advertiser boycott in December, and they didn't get all of them back, obviously. That's where the... You you don't even know what you're talking okay, about. Okay, they did the same thing on Facebook. No, no. Okay. That was a major L for me. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Why yeah, are we in Rumble right now talking about this then? Well, I, I've yet to be banned from Rumble. Ah, we'll see. see how they're all powerful that they can shut down Elon oh Musk, who is a massive billionaire. What, the second or third we'll wealthiest man in the world? We'll see what on happens. Twitter, we'll on Twitter, Twitter they shut you down. Okay, Elon Musk, Twitter, private company, Rumble, publicly traded. Amazing. Holy yeah. Rumble publicly the traded. Argument. You're the banned ADL? from everything. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you banned from Rumble? I can't. Hold he's on, why on, is he interrupting on. me? Because he wants to schizo ramble because his points are schizo retarded. ramble. They're Your point is retarded. retarded. You're banned from everything. That's the point. To reiterate. Yeah. So if the Jews can pressure anything. Company, okay. it's going to be publicly right. traded companies right. for a variety of reasons. You get the government involved in everything. Right. 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 Right
Fly list. Yeah, and yeah, you, yeah, you're not, not anymore. He hasn't been on that no-fly list. Guys, 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 and he wasn't on that no-fly list for what reason. Destiny, go ahead and say why he got banned off Twitter and then make your Rumble uh, he did already. And then, well, did, yeah. But y'all were interrupting. Two to five seconds. I, mean, I, want, okay, yeah. I want to make so sure just that to be clear, we're, we're doing the thing again where the Jews are so powerful, even in a privately owned company, they can they individually target Nick Fuentes, the most dangerous one ever going to get a ban. Okay? But they can't exert that same influence on Rumble? What about on YouTube? Doesn't the ADL go to YouTube? Why are we banned on YouTube? Let me finish. Okay, go ahead. And I'm done. Go ahead. Okay, go. Nick, you want to address well, that? I think wanted to talk. Well, okay, just, one, yeah, okay. you're, you're saying that it's because he said that he loves Hitler and all that stuff. Doesn't that kind of prove the point? You were saying that you can criticize all minorities. You could say that you love Mao, you love Stalin, you could say that you love all these historical leaders, but when you say, I love Hitler, for example, that is seen as the worst person of all time. That's one that we... Hitler probably was the worst person of all time. Why? <laughs> wow. See, but they, that's the program. That's exactly what it is. It systematically led the murder and extermination of like I'm some 11 an, to 17 Stephen, million people. Stephen, I'm from an ethnic cleansing in 1999. They murdered most of my family we didn't have a military nobody even knows about my war and i'm i'm not finding sympathy and make going to jewish hollywood execs saying make a movie because i'm gonna cry for 20 decades bro i'm telling you you only focus on world war ii because you're programmed to dude you'll never talk about stalin like that Wow. Right. Who do you think you're talking to? And that, that, that also <laughs> proves the point. If you're saying Hitler's the worst person of all time, but you're looking at all the other leaders that have caused genocide on other minorities, you don't see them as evil people, but Hitler is the most evil Wait, one oh, the genocide of the Jewish people. Bro, you can't say you don't see them as evil people. What is that insane dichotomy? Of course that is evil. You don't think I'm talking about So why now? is Hitler the worst? Because he, because they led an unprecedented systematic elimination on who? of, of on Jewish people, so on Soviet capitalist people, on the Romani people, <laughs> on Polish people, on on gay people, but and and do disabled. people criticize him because of all the others? What group did Hitler genocide that people are really afraid about? Why do they say that Hitler's the worst of all time? The two biggest ones are Jewish people and Soviet people. That's why Russia to this day defines itself. Does anybody as care about the Hitler genocide on Soviets? Nobody yeah, talks dude, about that's that. That's all of Russia's foreign policy. Why do you think he talked about going to Ukraine? You're lying. <laughs> you're lying right now. Because you, you and I covered Hassan Piker saying Hitler wasn't bad for invading Poland. That's he was bad uh, for so killing really Jews. And you covered that and you changed your position. Okay. Read the live chat more. Is that your notes? That looks like a live chat. Okay. That's Adam22 texting Read the live again. chat right, for more right. answers. Adam22, so, well, stop texting. I, I want to reply because yeah, I never yeah, got yeah, replied. Yeah, I want him to reply about the Twitter thing. Why, why did you get banned? He's saying that you got banned for something else. But why Twitter ahead. and not Rumble? I want to hear that. Hang on, hang on. So, okay, why well, first of all, he oh, said... Rumble. <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> yeah, not just derail because Bro, he has no answer. start, man. Let him start. Right? So first of all, you said, well, I know why you got banned on Twitter. And then I said, no, you don't. And then you made a funny, cute joke and said, well, no, you don't do. So no, I was told by Twitter that I was banned for repeated violations of the terms of service, even though I was there for 24 hours. But regardless, either way you cut it, my argument is they banned me because the ADL told them because the ADL says jump and they say how high the argument is well they banned you because you said you love Hitler and like Sneeko says well that would be an obvious contradiction it would show that talking about Jews is obviously exceptional it's not like other things Leafy didn't get banned from Twitter Leafy's going on Twitter and saying all gay people are pedophiles all gay people are terrible all, do not be gay gay people are losing he didn't lose his Twitter yeah. but I make a Twitter and I lose it in 10 minutes I literally make a burner with a fake phone number a fake email a fake profile picture sure they somehow they know they banned me in 10 minutes i use a vpn so you're wrong either way now as far as rumble goes i this is always the argument i remember in july 2021 i put out a tweet on fourth of july and i said yeah happy independence day to the gay country that banned me from all social media and some in the replies goes, well, you're still tweeting. And this is like the same argument. So wait a second, Nick Fuentes, you're banned from TikTok, Reddit, Discord, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. YouTube literally told us before we went live, you can't go live with Nick Fuentes because it would be circumventing a ban. So your argument is, so Nick, you're banned from every social media platform in the world, but you're still on Rumble. Ha! Case closed, point is proven, and it's just like the other thing where it's like, well, Nick, so you're saying the Jews control the DOD and the State Department, but they didn't go through the CIA, point is proven. It's always just like bullshit obfuscation. Obviously, they <laughs> exert control. The ADL does this. They're belligerent, aggressive berserkers. They did this to Facebook. They did this to Twitter. They go for the advertisers. They go for the public campaign. It's probably why I don't have a deal with Rumble. You know, I don't want to out anybody, but then there's people here that probably have deals with Rumble. And there's other people. I think you have a deal with Rumble. I don't get a deal from Rumble. I'm one of their biggest streamers. Do you if think I it's went, because of the ADL? On, if I went live exclusively every night on Rumble, I'd be pulling six or 7,000 viewers on Rumble. I should get a deal. I don't get a deal. They don't talk to me. Do you think it's because of the kick, ADL? They said no JQ. So the kick literally. Do you told think kick people, is influenced by the JQ? Or isn't that guy Australian? They are 100 influenced by the ADL. Yes. How? 
because they know that they're going to go after these platforms. Hold on. Kick is all private equity. There's no advertisers. It's all crypto gambling. Where does the ATL influence Let's kick? Let's move back to Yang. No, 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 he didn't give a reason, exactly. but somebody whoa, told whoa, whoa. me. You don't think it's They said no free speech. The CEO actually yeah. went public and said that there's no free speech. Yeah, because, no, Ross came on because, there. Free speech because, because, when people make, jokes. because when people make streaming platforms, they don't want, and Aiden Ross has gotten in trouble for a lot of the edge companies that outside of the JQ shit as well. Was never what was the trouble? Never canceled, though. Never canceled. 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 Yeah, you look it up. Look up ADL, no. Elon Musk. No, s- I swear I'm to asking, God. Is there proof that yeah. the ADL? No, he's he's you, the audience this, can yeah, look it up. Answer. There's literally, I mean, I could pull it up for you. Yeah, tell yeah. me. Tell me. The That's ADL the said there's five people you can't bring back. David Duke, Alex Jones, Nick Fuentes, Donald Trump, Andrew Tate. I said this earlier. Three people have not been brought back. David Duke, me, and Alex Jones. Elon Musk said Alex Jones can't come back because of Sandy Hook. Me and David Duke are the only two in the list that, do- that talk but about you, the But Jews. you did camp come back. And then they re Why me. wouldn't they just keep you banned? Maybe it was a mistake. I don't know. But they re <laughs> me in 24 hours. What do, do you mean? Do you what, do you, what do you mean? Like, no, no, I don't understand. No, no, no. Okay, I, I don't understand. So I didn't break the rules. Here's the, the here me. is the appallingly Amazing. obvious take. Right. Okay? Some speech is not corporately popular because all it does is it gets your platform in shit. Corporately you lose popular. advertisers, you lose popular That's support. Good. Having people on the platform saying, I'm going to go to war with Jews, I love Hitler, like this, literally doesn't benefit them at all. The same as if somebody got on a, on a Twitter account and just started spam calling people to kill themselves, or was just spamming like I don't know, videos of people getting killed. I don't know if that's against TOS, right? There doesn't, we don't need a conspiracy to explain literally any of this. Chris, I'm sorry. People probably don't want you in Rumble because people don't want Rumble to be seen as just a platform where all the Nazis go, okay? P- Elon doesn't want you on Twitter, although he gave you an unban because as soon as you got unbanned, within 24 hours, you were already tweeting crazy shit and then you were back in spaces talking crazy shit. People don't want you on Kick, a company owned completely by private equity with no external advertiser whatsoever. What is tying all of these together? The ADL, which is only spending $500 million, five times the XQC deal? You think that's enough for them to keep every single one of these social media platforms under their thumb? What was Elon's individual investment in Twitter? Was it like $33 billion? And you're saying $500 million is enough to keep Facebook, market cap of what, one trillion dollars um facebook twitter private equity held kick private equity held rumble publicly traded somehow the adl is keeping you off of all these platforms don't you think it might just be the case that people don't want you because you're radical you just spew right-wing talking points and it's bad for the platform yeah yeah let me answer that let me answer just to be clear well you can after every single band you have can be very easily explained by this is not popular makes our platform look bad and we don't want it and i don't have to invent like sometimes the adl is a lot of pressure sometimes they keep five people banned but they accidentally unban me and but then they remember to reban me and they somehow influence publicly traded companies to get rid of me but not fresh and fit that have me on them it, it doesn't make sense okay yeah let's talk about it so first of all you said could you show me where the adl because i'm sure someone in chat said that didn't happen it's right here if they googled it october 28th 2022 five things adl is watching following elon musk buying twitter point number one in addition to trump other high profile and dangerous individuals may be allowed to return to twitter David Duke, Nick Fuentes, Alex Jones, oh. Andrew Tate, Steve Bannon. Oh. These are the, okay, those oh, are the five that they listed. But Trump got unbanned. And, and, and you got unbanned. Oh, yes. I already said that. I said he, the three that have not been allowed back, me, Alex Jones, you were and allowed back. So hang on, hang that. on, hang on. You don't even let me finish. because yeah, your yeah, mind doesn't let, even yeah, say that's anything. That's when I interrupt or laugh, got banned, I get go. called out. Yeah. When you interrupt, no one gives a Anyway, that's okay. You're cool. <laughs> I'm not what? trying to. I'm just Wait, saying. didn't Andrew Tate get on Ben? Cheating, show? cheating. Let him finish. Let him finish. Okay. He, did, he did specifically mention Andrew Tate came back. He yeah, mentioned true. that three people were not able to come well, back. Well, Andrew Tate came back because he's a Jew. So okay. I trust that Trump came back. And now it's back Andrew, to Andrew's him. not Jewish. And back to Stephen no, Bonnell no. with the gaffification. So I said. The people that were not permitted back are people that, one, Elon Musk specifically said Alex Jones can't come back because of Sandy Hook. He's got a personal gripe. The other two that haven't come back, it's me, it's David Duke. We're the only two that talk about Jews. And by the way, you know, you say, oh, well, maybe it's just because they don't want you. Maybe it's just because it's a brand risk. Really? And I go back to my, once again, you engage with like this part of it and blow it up. It's all sophistry. So let me ask you this, Destiny, with the uh, face in the phone. 
If Leafy is tweeting every single day for the last five or six weeks, gay people suck, gay people pull up his timeline while you're on your phone and look at all the stuff he's tweeting about LGBTQ people. Why don't you look at that? That's not a brand risk, but I am. I went on my stream and said, which you didn't even listen to, I know, I tweeted nothing that was offensive, and on the voice chat, I said, we have to be radical. Alex Jones calls me little Hitler. We have to lean into that kind of stuff. So now their policy is hate speech says you can't incite hatred or violence against a group, which is not what I did. They banned me in a very short time. They didn't give me a reason. They didn't tell me it was because of the voice chat. They just took me off. So if it's about bad content or something like that, clearly Leafy's content and i'm not trying to get him banned You're but these content is more against the rules than the stuff that i said what's more you <laughs> didn't address the kanye west was told personally you can't come back by elon and what did elon do or rather what did kanye do kanye tweeted the swastika that's it. He didn't call for the death of anybody. He didn't say anything hateful. He tweeted the swastika. Not the even the swastika. It was. It's the seal of Solomon. Don't say David. Right. That's a lot. Okay. True. There was star, star of Renfam. Renfam. Yes. There you go. Um, <laughs> so he tweeted that, and Elon literally told him when all the reinstatement was happening. No, you can't come back. So there's obviously a common denominator here. All the stuff you th that you throw out there. It falls apart when you look at the breadth of the evidence. People get more canceled for talking about the Jews than they do anything else. They do about gay people, about Muslims. Talk about goalpost shift. Initially, you said, well, people get canceled for anything. Not leafy for gay people with a contract on Rumble and still on Twitter. Not all these Jews that bash Muslims. They're still getting contracts and they're still on Facebook. Only the people who talk about Jews in Israel. And I said the ADL is part of that. You always say, well, you say the ADL controls everything. ADL is a part of that. They're part of this berserker army that goes after these guys. Mm -hmm. And we could get into Facebook. I didn't get to hit that, but we could get into that later. Yeah. Okay. Basically, you're saying the okay. pressure is always there. But can I say one thing? Yeah, sure, please. Actually, I don't know how good faith Steven's being because <laughs> I've watched Steven for years and a lot of people in chat have. Did you know there's one group of people he does not joke about for the last four or five years? Every other place he goes edgy. I can find a million clips of any minority group, but there is one where it's like, I can't find Steven doing any anti-Semitic comedy. He can go against blacks, Chinese. Like, if you really want to look for clips of Steven mentioning the Jewish community, it's f***ing scarce. But he's an edgy guy. Right. He attacks everyone. You've attacked Islam. You've made a lot of jokes. Even Zerker makes jokes about Islam, Islam too. Yeah. Okay, but why is it not it's easy even to make easier fun to make fun of a nose? Because it's all, like I've challenged people to come on my stream and give me like, what are good Jewish jokes? I don't even know any. Like everybody brings. <laughs> I remember up, that stream. There's a lot of jokes. Yeah, I got. I got. I got. I got. What are you talking about? I got Jewish jokes. I know thirty off my head, but I want to keep my bank account. Yeah, I'm sure you're Muslim. I'm sure you know all sorts of jokes. There are jokes. I'm just gonna say, um, that was that was Ryan Dawson calling me on on Telegram. Um. Yeah, he just wanted to say real quick. Um, he, it's actually funny. He said, he said, Nick needs my help here. Zerka's useless. <laughs> but well, who said, are you, bro? You he weren't said, even uh, invited. This is, this is what he said. He said, Elon removed the ADL from the advisory board to trust and safety. Y'all Roth also had to step down. Nick was brought back in this window. Then they had a new Zionist at head of trust and safety and then banned him again. Also, I got banned on all those same things. Nobody even before Nick without saying any right. racist things at all. Martin, he there literally got back on, and re-banned in that same window as Nick. So, so what he's saying is that they have people from uh, ADL at the advisory board to trust so the are, are we just forgetting that he literally called Nick an anti-Semite recently? Who? This Ryan. this. Well, Nick probably is an anti-Semite. Does he not say as much? Wait, wait, no, no, well, we're not going to read his shit. <laughs> what he, is he didn't call him anti no, You know what he did? He said, he, said he's he said, I have no problem with Jews, but Nick is an anti-Semite. Who the f***? Stop trying to grow your bum-ass platform. <laughs> All right. Either way, the, the point is, is that the kids. Hold on, Ryan Dawson and Nick are, are enemies, and he still and he still said this to basically say, "Hey, look, Twitter does have some ADL influence," is what he's saying. And also, that, in, Nick's, in Nick's defense as well. So you are harping on the fact that he's on Rumble still, but to be honest with you, like speaking uh, plainly uh, uh, in plain uh, sight of the podcast itself, he may be in danger. You never know. So you're not saying behind the scenes either. Either way. I don't. I don't think he's in danger. <laughs> you never know. You never know. I think if people wanted to get him, I think he would have been gotten by now. Hey, what? Are, I know this might be anecdotal. But wait, 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 real but quick. I would real quick. What are the chances the only streamer who ever mentions Israel from a straight white male, and that's not an attack on straight white white male. It's an attack on Christianity. What are the chances the only streamer in internet history to just critique Israel is on a f f no fly list, banned from PayPal, every. F Platform. Wait, why did what are the no chances playlist? Nick has this problem? Uh, if Nick was talking about the Great Wall of China, would he have this problem? 
Okay, so okay. all I'm trying to point out is that like, if we look at how companies act and how they respond to consumer pressure, it's pretty obvious to explain every single banning that we're talking about. If we try to use this ADL lens, it is the most like unspecific, random, schizo oh unbanning and rebanning ever, right? Okay. Wow. Nick pointed out that the ADL said five people needed to stay banned, okay? And what, three of them got unbanned. Okay. Where's which the power? Which I'm already went over. Which I'm already went over. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. I got a great well, question you just, for you. you got all five. You just okay. ran for like 20 minutes. Once you finish, so I got yeah. a question. So it's again, and I'll point it again because I'm going to reiterate this all through the night because it's going to keep coming up over and over again. They're all powerful. They have all the influence. They control all of these multi-trillion dollar market capitalization companies. But when they go to make these huge statements, the ADL says, these are the five people that need to stay banned. For some reason, like two of them are the only ones that stay banned. Yeah, they don't critique Israel, Steve. Do they critique Israel? It's Those ones that got on back. Elon be Musk critiques Ezra. Elon what Musk really shit on. Are you talking about? You can go on Twitter right now. You're putting you Elon with Nick. You can go on Twitter right now and find Elon Musk shitting on George Soros and saying he's like a, like a. Is that the same thing? Talking about shit. foreign George foreign Soros foreign is like the number one Jewish conspiracy oh, actor so in the United Elon. States. Okay? Wow, that's millionaire wow. beast. That's wow. not so Israel. Elon should bring Nick back. That's amazing. I'm just saying that when you try to use, if you try to use, it's got nothing to do with Israel. If you try to, okay. <laughs> Interesting. That's so uh, if, you, if you try to use this ADL lens, it doesn't explain anything. Why are some people? The, the answer for why Leafy is largely untouched is very obvious because nobody knows who the f is or gives a. F it's getting we're incredible all impressions right, talking right, about right, that right. LGBTQ. Well, 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 more than your Islamophobic Sneeko jokes. Brings, wow. Sneeko brings up, and I hate Islam, thank you for reminding me, uh, more than what Sneeko brings yeah, up, yeah, more than what, uh, Sneeko's correct that Leafy is getting big in some areas, and that's why recently he has gotten pressured, because as soon as Leafy started doing incredible unpopular shit, now he's tweeting out that he's getting pressured by Rumble to chill his shit out. And I don't think it was because he was talking about Jews, I think it's because his content is extremely edgy, because newsflash, most people don't want that type of I love Hitler content on any of their platforms, because it's a bad look for literally everybody.